Well, welcome along to a brand new but somewhat um, old diary. Uh, old in being that I've been doing this for the past couple of years, but brand new because it's now on obviously the DNA YouTube channel, and that is where this diary is going to stay for the future. So, for you all to see now on YouTube, I am currently back on the island. Now, this has been a syndicate of mine for the past couple of years, and quite what I'm doing here in January, I'll never bloody know, to be honest with you. It's a tough, tough pond at the best of times, and coming here in January is gonna be a tall order, let me tell you. So, um, there's this mild weather, though, is something not to be missed, I feel, but the pressure's through the roof at the moment, and yeah, that may, well, it steers, towards zig fishing i guess it's a thousand and thirty seven at the minute um but it's mild so gotta be out there gotta be in it to win it i'm the only one here because i'm the only one obviously mad enough to fish the island I've got the boat loaded i got here at first light this morning and i wanted to basically keep an eye out down sort of the road bank end of the pond and i've not seen a lot and i don't think i'm gonna see a lot this trip to be honest with you i think it's going to be a case of getting in the boat having a good skirt about the place and hopefully finding excuse me hopefully finding some carp so as the next plane goes over i haven't missed them for the past few months let me tell you it's been a long time since i've been here just due to being busy elsewhere sort of thing now i normally fish on the chase this time of year but that's now all over so uh yeah managed to get what i wanted to catch out of there Let's hope I can get what I want to catch out of here before my ticket runs out because I'm not going to be renewing. So that's again one of the reasons why I'm here at the moment to make the most of the next month or two before the ticket ends. So anyway, stop rabbiting on now. Let's get into the boat, go and have a good look about and fingers crossed we can find something to fish for. Oh, I've had right bloody missions, let me tell you. Absolute palaver. So I've managed to find some fish and um, yeah, I found a bloody giant as well. I thought when I first saw it, it was Roy's, but I don't think it is. I think it's Mike's pet. There's another fish with it, a pop rib, 40 pounder, two other 30 pounders, like right next to the boat as well, in snags. Now, <laughs> The issue I've got, bit of a story behind it. A couple of weeks ago, we was out on the sanctuary doing some product filming. I was out with Harry, Ben and Scott, and the pressure was exactly the same as what it is now, 1,030 something. And um, H is like, mate, gonna catch them on zigs, definitely. You know, what's the point in fishing the bottom? And I was like, nah, nah, I don't wanna fish with zigs and all that zig malarkey, like I hate fishing with zigs, but, you know, there are there are means, you know, they're, they're very effective in the right hands. And um, which is exactly what Harry showed me. He absolutely smacked them on the sanctuary. 14 foot of water, five foot down, I think he was having them. And yeah, he had quite a few bites on them. And it makes you remember, you know, how good zig fishing can be when you see it like that. Now I've had good, good zig trips in the past. But I just, I hate fishing with them. So this trip, I thought, you know what? I'll just bring the casting rods. Problem is with that, they're mono. And you can't fish for these fish where I've seen them with mono. You have to fish with braid. It would be bad angling um, if I was to fish with mono there. So yeah, gutted, got no braid. I've been back to the van, raiding all of me bloody 
in planes. I haven't missed them bloody things, let me tell you. So, where was that? Anyway, I've got no bloody braid. I can't fish for these fish that sat in the snags. I'm having a right drama. I'm thinking, do I drive back home, which is like two and a half hours away, or where the lockup is, is two and a half hours away, to go and get my bloody braid. Ah, oh, just painful, absolute. I don't know why I turned up here without, well, I know why, because I thought, no, I'll be zig fishing, just casting into the abyss with bits of flip-flop, no. They're in the snags. Ugh. Right, so what I've done, the best thing I can do is I've baited that area. I've put some pellets down. Uh, I've put some switch pellet down. I like using the switch pellet because it's easier to see, but I obviously love the crayfish pellet. So it's very difficult to see that on the bottom and whether they fed on it and what have you. So that's why I like to put switch pellets in, especially this time of year as well. Switch is great bait. Anyway, put a little bit of corn over the top as well. So I've baited a couple of spots in there. That's all I can do, and then maybe go and check them tomorrow. And if they smash the death out of it, I don't know, I'll go out to the tackle shop, buy some braid, something or other. Anyway, so that's that palaver. I've been staring at them bloody giants in them snags, but when I went to the van and come back, they weren't there. So, but still, you know, you've got to fish for where the fish are, and unfortunately, I can't, typical. So what am I doing now? I'm going to look at another set of snags, don't ask. But now I've seen some in some bloody snags, I'm thinking, are they all in snags? I know they all won't be, but I oh, just wasn't expecting that, really wasn't expecting it. I've looked in them snags in winters past as well, never ever seen them in there. So anyway, Right, onwards and upwards. Let's go and check some more snakes. If there's more giants in there, I'm gonna kill myself, honestly. So where I'm actually walking through now, for anyone that sort of doesn't know the island, or obviously not watched any of the diaries in the past, I'm on the second island at the minute. Um, so there's three islands that you can fish off on the island lake. And um, got a big one, this small one, which only got one swim on it. So it's small, it's bloody about an acre big. Um, and then you've got the third island that's got six swims on it. So the first one, I think, has got one, two, three, five swims, something like that. The furthest island, six swims, and this island, one swim that only fishes out one way. Uh, the back of, yeah, this island is Viper's Water, and uh, that fishes to the back of these snags that I'm just about to go and check now. But this is the best viewing point to see him next to this barge that's down here. So let's creep in there, see if there's any bloody big ones in this snag as well. Oh God, it'll be a bloody nightmare if there is. The uh, snag trainers, you know, the ones that are very camo in that green there, proper camo kicks. Yeah, I'm fighting my way around this island like it's bloody spring or something. Like I'm going to see him in the edge. So there was nothing in there, absolutely nothing in those snags. So, oh, bloody hell, I don't know. How can, oh, just, how can I be so divvy? Well, I know how I could be so divvy. You don't need to bloody comment. Um, Oh, I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. It's not every day you find some giants in January, is it? And you can't bloody fish for them. Oh, absolute weaponly. Anyway, I've got to try and forget about it somehow. I don't know how, at least bait in that spot. I can sort of tear up for another trip maybe or whatever, but I'm trying to convince myself that Ziggs is going to be the way forward. But, oh, bloody hell Lee, absolute div. No. Right, anyway, let's go out into the abyss and uh, go and stare at that for a bit. It looks good up this left-hand side, so I might go that way. First, right on the back of this wind. So this is the aquarium. That's the island I was just walking around on. And uh, yeah, this is the aquarium out here. It does feel nice here off of the back of this wind, I must admit. They like coming through here, so I'm trying to keep an eye on this bit as much as possible, as well as staring out there. but. You go through this gap here, which separates them two islands. So there's six swims on here, one swim on here, through the gap, massive expanse of water. So I'm you know, just keeping an eye out along this bit here because you know, they do like passing through here, but I've been unfortunate enough not to see that 
all my time on here, but a friend of mine says that, you know, that he sees them here a lot, but I've never bloody seen them, so I always keep an eye out anyway, just in case, you know. Yeah, nothing looks like it's here at the minute. We want to find the mother load. That's what we want to find, the absolute mother load. All huddled up somewhere together. Is it out here? Or is it through there? Hmm, that is the question. But... Oh, what was that? Just see something. Right, seen a small one splosh out here. Well worth investigating though, definitely. Right, okay. Naughty. It's bubbling as well by the looks of it. Right, it's right on that wind line, so... No birds in sight. Let's get over there. good here it really does it just feels the perfect place to be fishing zigs now it's like 17 foot of water out there and six foot down from the surface there was you know something pinging up i don't tend to take any note of them fish icons that you get on these bloody echoes but where it was six foot down from the surface there was something there so whether that's a thermocline sort of showing up on the echo might be aware a lot of small fish are being sat so it's a good indication that you know fishing a what 12 foot zig out there and then come down a foot for the next zig and a foot for the other zig so it just it's something to go off of and something splashed out there definitely as i went out towards it so i'm probably going to end up in that swim there fishing zigs out into this flat water here but i've got to go and check this big bit out here off of the back of the wind just in case i might be missing something you know so so yeah that's the plan at the minute to set up on their cast zigs out you know sort of out in that zone so just coming into the big expanse of water here uh so that's obviously the bank there that's an island there and um yeah, I'm just going to check out here just in case they're not absolutely booming out, of course. And um, yeah, that could be us for a night at the very least. And then tomorrow I'll go and check the old baited spots on them snags where I see them giants. So yeah, we've got a plan at the minute. We've got something to go off of, I guess. So yeah, never fished that swim before, you know. I've never ever fished it, so you never know might get lucky i got lucky the first time i fished off of the back of it so that's the swim i'm going to go in I've, that's the first swim i ever fished and i managed i managed one out of there on my first trip as well fishing sort of right out of the pond there's a flat spot out here so but i need to stop waffling on and uh, pay attention Right, so this is the lawn swim then. So I'm obviously the boat launch is right over the back there. This is as far as you can get away from that. And um, yeah, there's a similar thing going on with the echo just out here again in 15, 16 foot of water and six foot down from the surface. So I'm just gonna sort of stand on this bank and have a little watch just to see if I do see anything. But if not, I think I'm gonna go to the aquarium. But the good thing about this swim is you've got this lake behind you here, which is normally good for a bite. Um, this is called the Fridge Lake. I've never actually fished it, but Nicky Mills um, used to do well out of this pond and, and obviously the island lake fishing there. So yeah, it can be a bit of a lively bank this though. So, but I doubt it this time of year. So yeah, it's one of them. I'll just stand here for a bit. Keep an eye out there, I reckon. Oh, well, I stood on... That was something else out there. Just see one, something splash out the back there again. So only small, but something. Spent a bit of time on that bank in the lawn swim with that little pond behind. And 
didn't see anything and it didn't feel the one this feels the one i don't know why well i do know why because i've seen some two occurrences now so and it does feel like it feels warmer this side than what it does that side and i can keep an eye on the the other side because i just walked through here it's at the back of this swim anyway so yeah i feel like this is a good starting point anyway so this will be me for the day maybe the night depends on what i see elsewhere and then um, we'll assess the situation from there but at the minute i come here to chuck three flip-flops out and that's what i'm gonna bloody do so yeah yeah it's one of them i can't stop thinking about their bloody car though oh painful anyway right let's get the boat unloaded and bloody uh, chuck some zigs out Ugh. Well, that is three bits of foam out in the pond. Never did I think I'd be saying that um, in my fishing. I don't think I've ever fished actually three bits of foam before, uh, ever, to be honest. But that was something up the bat there. Or was it a wind demon? Mm, don't know. But yeah, I've sat here, had a bit of lunch, didn't rush to get the rods out, sat on the bed for a while looking out there. Not really seen a lot, the odd little clip and a uh, bit of disturbance on the surface sort of thing every now and then but um, not seen any definite carp as of yet but bloody hell with this sun out now it feels mad for the zigs it really really does so yeah it's definitely activity there was something just out there then something just splashed just out to the left here so that's definite something's here anyway and that's all i've got to go off other than the ones that i found earlier which i can't fish for oh i've just thought about it as well can't get in next week filming for dna for the last of the winter series shoot and i can't come the following week after that oh, it's painful honestly um but anyway three bits of zigs bit, bits of zigs there's a new one three bits of foam out there and let's hope that one of them busts off it would be nice to get one more fish out of here definitely and kickstart 2024 with a cart from the island lake that'd be bloody awesome but anyway right time to kick back chill out been out poncing around in that boat all bloody day and it's been a nightmare to be honest so right time to have a bit of a chilled one and fingers crossed next time this is on we'll be into one banging banging that bang him uh yeah big 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 up the corn growers you know Ah, uh, well good morning and a very quiet night to be expected i guess bloody january and fishing on the island what was i thinking anyway <laughs> it's uh definitely move time so i'm gonna bite the bullet go up to the shop even though i've only got another 24 hours and go and get some braid hopefully fish for them fish that are still fingers crossed there and fed on them two pre-baited spots that i did yesterday with the pellets and a little bit of corn so time to get all this packed down and thrown in the boat let's get down to that swim let's go and have a look in there see whether they fed on the spot see whether they're still there and hopefully get this year off to a flyer especially with a bloody island fisher this time of year that would be a result let me tell you right should have done this yesterday i knew i should have done this yesterday but it's one of them in it so right let's get packed up let's get on the move but it is game on definitely so i've gone and checked the first spot and it's been fed on there's still i would say about a handful of pellets down there but they fed on the corn which is interesting so like a lot of the corn's gone 
Uh, I'll put about half a tin down there in the end. So yeah, they've definitely fed on the corn, but the other spot that I checked, <clears throat> It's been smashed a bit so there's not there's two pellets left down there so and that's my hot spot that is that second spot i've had a lot of bites from that one and they seem to feed really confident there but you've got to get them away quick so heading back to the van now i have got a bit a little bit of braid left now whether there's a hundred yards worth of braid still on the spools that i've got in the van I don't know, it's, it's, it's dodgy, it's risky, but I'm going to try it anyway. So they're leftover spools from from Rainbow, and I've got a feeling there's a, just about 100 yards on them, so we'll see anyway. So hopefully there's enough to get from that spot back to the bank, and then it's game on, because one of the spots has definitely been fed on. I've gone in through the back where I saw the fish, and I saw a big tail swim away from me, and I thought, that's enough. You know, like, I don't want to be pissing around in here too much spooking them and what have you so they're definitely there still one of the spots has been smashed and the other one's been fed on a couple of times so you would have thought if it had been birds they'd have eaten everything so game on indeed buzzing can i squeeze another night that's the question maybe i'll have to sweet talk her hopefully there's a flower shop on the way home Right, we're ready to go. So yeah, I've got a solid bag tied up. I've just put crayfish mini mix in there, an insect meal, and I'm, that's all I'm gonna drop on the spot. So I'm gonna drop that on the prime spot, the one that I've done really well on. And then the other rod, I've just got a Ronnie rig uh, with a couple of bits of plastic corn over the top. Obviously that's what I've been, that's what they've been eating out there is the corn as well. So let's, um, let's hope we can get ourselves a bite, eh? So right, time to get in the boat. I'm being an absolute noddy. I've got a 10 foot rod with a uh, bloody me donkin rod. I've got that with a 10,000 reel on it and me other 12 foot rod with obviously the braid that I put on earlier on. So, right, come on. Come on the cups, let's go. Breakfast, you know the rules. Yeah, just had myself some breakfast. Totally forgot to bring some buns and wraps. So it was just a plate of sausages, deep joy. And uh, and yeah, we are now hopeful. Well, the sun is dipping down over the back now and I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Um, I've just remembered that I've got a bit of revenge to have with the fish that's out there, that Mike's pet, the fish that I see. Um, at the back there yesterday, that big one, he uh, he likes it in there, and I've actually lost him once before. I thought it was Roy's a few, about two years ago, I think this was, September time, or it might have been the year before, uh, last year. But um, anyway, that fish was in there, and I thought it was Roy's at the time, and he kept clearing me out. You just hence why I've dropped a solid bag down there this time with that shorter rig because the rig that I was using at the time was a sort of fluorocarbon D rig and yeah he was at the back there and Steve Briggs phoned me in the morning or messaged me in the morning to say that he had just caught roids out the back out in the open water I thought ah oh, damn he was out he was out in front of me last night and I'd gone back out there that morning to look at the rigs and all the bait had gone and just the rig was lying on the bottom and that fish was still sat at the back. So that's when I twigged, oh, it's Mike's pet. You know, it's a 55 pound carp and they look fairly similar. It's just that Mike's pet is a lot wider across the back and Roy's is a bit more longer than what he is. So my mistake anyway, but I ended up getting a bite that morning. So after rebaiting, refreshing the rig, so shorten the rig down a little bit, add a few adjustments and what have you. And yeah, that rod went and unfortunately, I lost him. I was absolutely gutted and um, yeah, gone back out there. I did another night and he obviously totally disappeared from the area. So for me to be back in here now and him to be out there again in the exact same haunt that he was in last time I lost him out there, feels a bit like 
has he done me over like has he eaten all the bait again out there do i go and check you're not allowed out in the boat at night but i've had evening bites out of here so it's like oh all these things are running through my head and i i don't know what the best decision is at the minute do i go out there check the rigs worry that i might you know sacrifice my evening bite or do i just leave it alone but he might have done me over out there <laughs> just like what to do mind games mind games i need a bite that's what that's that would decide it for me obviously but i'm hanging on here and the sun's dipping down lower and lower by the minute i don't know what to bloody do oh yeah and i've been watching the coots as well and they've been coming sort of within half a rod length of the spot and then backing off and backing away so again that's making me wonder is there carp down why would they just back up you, you know it's winter time it's very easy to see that bait on the bottom why aren't they diving on it you would like to think it's because there's a great big carp sat on the bottom wouldn't you so they haven't been near me all day today which is odd really because you know they wouldn't have seen a lot of food and you would imagine the first bit of food that you put in the pond where it's so clear they'd be on it but they're not so have they got used to eating i don't know what no anglers bait over the winter and they're not used to it again but i don't know i don't know i'm thinking loads of things here all the while that sun's dipping down i'm like Ugh, i need to do something do i check or don't i it's difficult now as well to see the bottom where that sun's positioned so maybe my it's my mind's made up just leave it alone in the hope that there is still bait there but we can check it come tomorrow morning and um i might have blagged another night anyway so i've sort of teed the missus up for it so and she seemed happy enough so fingers crossed we get bites sometime soon yeah i think i think just leave it alone lee stop messing about and um leave them out there this is why i like fishing plastics out there as well because if the birds do pick you up then nine times out of ten they can't get them baits off whereas every i've fished pbs out there before and they've ripped them off so anyway right stop thinking and uh start praying i guess oh, good morning or is it a good morning damn nothing through the night absolutely nothing just gone out there check the spots nothing's fed on them been at the back and the fish aren't there anymore oh wow just painful missed opportunity gutted absolutely bloody gutted but that's carp fishing i guess should have made this move that i've done yesterday the day before and maybe it'd have been a different story one of them things i guess we are back ready for some more island punishment um keeping my voice down a little bit because i've come in to vipers this swim here which gives you like the best view of the lake and um just sat down on my little chair here which has got me crispy creams in on and uh yeah, bloody saw one, didn't I? And then saw another one. Unreal, February, and you're seeing them show on a place like this. Madness, absolute madness. So, yeah, buzzing, really buzzing. So I've quietly boated into the swim using the oar because they're showing just out in front here, sort of casting distance, no more than sort of 20, 30 yards in front of the swim which is bloody wicked absolutely wicked there's a few people on as well which was surprising to be honest but it is a sunday i guess so maybe just guys here for the weekend and fingers crossed they go today because i'd like to keep this on the down low definitely because um yeah you don't ever see them showing especially at this time of year and if you do uh, <laughs> You'd like to think that you're in with a bloody good chance of getting one, of course. So, although I've just seen someone loading their boat up at the boat launch, which is a pain in the ass because he's obviously going to be here for the next couple of nights, I would imagine. And fingers crossed he doesn't come ploughing through the swim through here because this is sort of where the boat traffic is. When you turn up, you come up this channel here. So I'm hoping he might stay up that end of the lake. I spoke to one of the lads 
that's fishing in one of the car park swims and he did say that it done a couple of bites I think last week or the week before all up that end so I'm hoping that everyone's gonna concentrate up there because that's where they've seen the shows apparently apparently they've been showing there late at night so what's obviously happened is they've had a load of punishment up there to fish have and now they've moved into the front of this swim which is bloody ideal as I was coming into the swim as well I see an absolute giant launch out long like past the boy past the center of the pond as well so I've got other options here gonna keep an eye on that as well of course but at the minute this is definitely my best bet because I've seen three shows here now and um, yeah I couldn't believe it I thought it was a bird at first you know it catches up sort of looking out this way and you see something at the corner of your eye and then loads of bubbles out there and it kept bubbling kept bubbling a bit like what a coot does when a coot dives down I thought it's definitely a bird that definitely a bird and it wasn't and then as I'm staring at it one's launched himself out as well Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've seen some. I can't, I can't believe it. It's February. It's freezing. It's got down cold again, which I think it might have needed, to be honest, because we've had such mild weather. And the fishing's been absolutely crap. This is ideal. Absolutely bloody ideal. I can't believe I've seen a couple. I'm absolutely buzzing. There's a bit of bubbling going on out to the left here as well. So, oh, was that one right out long there? Oh, it's a big splash out there, sort of out that direction. They're definitely here. This is where they're at. That is a massive splash that was out there. That's got to have been another one. Oh, shit, I hope no one sees them. I'm worried that this geezer setting up in the boat launch that he's going to come flying through here in his boat and destroy me chances. Uh, please stay up that end. That was one out there as well. Oh, wow. I'm going to hit this GoPro here because I've... I've got another GoPro on the go to try and get them showing. Right, okay. Right, let's get set up and hope that no one comes ploughing through me bloody swim. Right, rods are out and they are sorted. Unfortunately, his boxing GoPro died, so I couldn't film me getting the rest of the rods out. But I ended up basically waiting until the show sort of died down, which they did do about another hour or so after, after I see the first one. Um, so basically, I was eyeing them up with like the horizon markers exactly where they were showing more. And um, I ended up casting a marker float out there so that it was exactly where I saw them showing as well. And then I've gone out there, all three rods are on solid bags, drop them down, absolutely perfect. Couple handfuls of eight mil bugs over the top of them. Someone else has turned up and they're on the other end of this island. So someone's fishing out that way and I'm obviously fishing out this way. Hopefully no one else bloody turns up because one of the rods is out there long as well where I'll see them. It's a feature I have fished in here in the past, but it's more the swim peg 37's water, which is on the on the traveller's bank, we call it. And um, the swims are quite flooded over there as well, so it wouldn't be comfortable fishing out there. So I've just got to hope that someone's not going to turn up and be a hero and go in there so um that is the state of play at the minute feels bloody epic for it pressure's nice and low at the minute as well we are due a little bit of rain coming out, um soon the water clarity is just crap now it's absolutely rubbish whereas obviously when i was here last it was pretty clear you could at least see 10 foot down with the aquascope i saw loads out long so if anything does come this way i'll be the first to get them so right chill out it's been a long bloody day i got here for first light and um the rods have been out for half an hour and it's now like two three o'clock so um so yeah yeah it's been um it's been a mental one already always hard work this boat fishing and all that jazz loading a boat up finding a fish and what have you i didn't expect to see bloody anything today to be honest and now i've seen more than i've seen in a bloody season in one day so right let's hope they're on the feed come on you carps
Oh, we are actually playing one, would you believe? The right hand of the rechuck has busted off, which is ideal. Get out onto the front of the swim. Oh, come on. He's a long way out still though. He peeled loads of line off of me. <sighs> Try and turn him so he don't wipe that other rod out. God, I'm absolutely bricking it. It's been a long time since I've played a carp. <sighs> Fortunately, the boat's the wrong side of the rods, which is a pain in the ass. That's one of them things. Just hoping he's not gonna wipe that other rod out and turn him here. Whoa. If I pull that way. Hopefully he turns. At the minute he's not far away from this middle rod. Come on, turn. Turn. He's not going to. made loads of ground already. I hooked him out here. Please don't touch that other rod. No, he's got that middle rod. Bollocks. I can feel the line grating. Get on this dodgy platform. There he is. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. An old linear. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yes, there is a god. Oh my god. Thank God for that. Oh, we got one. Oh, we got one. Oh, happy days. Oh. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one, we got one. Milky malt for the win. Happy bloody days. <clears throat> oh, I am absolutely bloody elated with this carp. It's been a long time coming and I'm just buzzing to have finally got one at the island before it all ends. Look at that for an absolute belter. That will definitely do. Not all about the size and all that jazz, but I won't get into that. I'm just more than happy to have finally caught one more out of this wicked venue. It'd be nice to get a giant, but in the meantime, how about that for a carp? It's got some awesome scales just below that linear line there. That is a wicked one, absolutely wicked. And in these conditions, you'll take that, it's tensing, tensing. Right. Let's get him back. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, wicked. Oh, we got one. We got one.
Oh, I can't believe it. Same rod is away again, and this feels like a better one. It does. Let's hope it is. So I'm trying to keep the rod to the right here. It's a lot deeper out to the right, so that's where we want to keep him, really. But oh, I can't believe I've had another bite so quickly. Happy days. Oh, amazing. Definitely feels like a better one, this one. Oh, we found them, finally, finally we found them. Although I found them from the minute I got here. But, oh, he's taking line. Oh. So I'm actually, I'm just having, it's too dodgy to go out in the boat, even though it doesn't look like it. But I'm actually just kneeling on this platform at the front here and casting just as far as I can with single milky malt Ronnie's and um, that's what's doing the do at the minute this is the ending we wanted to the island indeed oh two bites one within an hour of each other pretty much you know this one's probably only been out for about an hour we got another one on already oh, amazing Angry, angry carp. God, he's taking some line. Jesus. I should get this boat the other side of these rods, really. Should have bloody done that, shouldn't I? Although it is too dodgy to go out there. Look, it's lovely and calm here, but honestly, the minute you get out there, it's hell on earth. It ain't the one. It's going to lift these rods up. Can. Right. God, he's holding ground out there. Signs of a big one. So you can see them big gusts out there. That is not the weather to be out in a boat, let me tell you. Definitely not. Oh, he's getting too close to this other bloody rod again. Slippery, this carpet and jazz on here. Let's try and pump him around this way again. This is where we want to play him. Come on, one of the giants, come on. Fighting so hard at this time of year, madness. Oh, pinged off a fin then. Hey. There's a leg caught. Oh, he's a common. He don't look too bad a common either. Come on you. Come on you. Come on the common. He don't look a bad one. Go on. Oh yes. Yes. Oh yes man. Happy bloody days. Oh, it's come good in the end. Oh, thank God. A little dumpy fat one. Nice, nice. How oh, happy days. Nice. All right, let's see if we can unhook him. Get this rod chuck back out there. Oh, he looks wide across the back end, doesn't he? across the back.
look at that 33 pounds absolutely bloody awesome nice to be getting bites finally this winter with the epic weather that we're having at the minute you couldn't ask for better fish like that absolutely awesome he is a wicked one he's got tiny little spiky dorsal on him little cutlet fins epic absolutely bloody epic mega mega and there could be a few more bites yet we're only halfway through the trip nice easy fishing oh, i think sometimes you can over complicate things and um and yeah just as simple as chucking out a milky malt mega Mwah. yes oh wicked thank you girl you awesome carp love that Thank you for the visit. Yes. Good morning, and it's a cer it's certainly, certainly. Still haven't woken up yet and I've had two bloody teas. Um, definitely a different day today. You can see behind me, it is an absolute mill pond out there at the moment. I have already seen two though. I've seen one show um, where I pretty much started one of the other rods. The one that got wiped out, my middle rod that was out there. Because obviously now I've got two fishing, you know, sort of where I've got the bites from obviously still casting out that direction towards the buoy this morning the first one i saw which was about half an hour ago was out sort of towards the pylon area which is the zone that i did have one of my rods which i'd pulled off to obviously fish out towards the buoy so i've reeled in the left hander same procedure tied up a ronnie milky malt white one sloshed it out there although it's like a mill pond now nice easy but you know to go out there with the boat obviously i just don't want to make any disturbance it's mad really because it's february and you think yeah, they're probably not going to move very far but they have been they've been all over the bloody pond i've seen them everywhere so they're definitely moving about and i think they're sloshing out because of the amount of leeches that have obviously been on the two that i've caught already so we got a spring in our step this morning, definitely. You always fish better, don't you, when you've caught one. So, yeah, I've been sat out on me on the chair of love. And, yeah, I like to say, I've only seen two. I've seen one just past the boy, absolutely slosh out twice, trying to get rid of leeches, no doubt. And then, yeah, I've seen one out towards the pylon. So, not setting the world on fire with the shows this morning. It's got worse and worse every day I've got here, but so's the pressure. Pressure's getting worse and worse as well. So, whether that's having a knock on effect on it all, who bloody knows? But I'm, I'm absolutely bloody over the moon. I really, really am over the moon with them two bites that I've already had out of here. If we can get one more then. <sighs> That would be a proper spring session on the big pit. It would be, definitely. So, yeah, looking forward to this morning's antics. If not, you know, the first bite anyway was at quarter to one today. So that might be a bite time period. Please don't tell me that was one out there. It's got to be a bird. That's where my left hander was just out here. Please be a bird. Ah, oh, thank you, it's a bird. I thought, yeah, bloody typical, that'd be all I need. So, yeah, still no one else on the pond other than matey that's on Butchers, the other end of this island here. Um, and, yeah, yeah, all quiet. Last night, didn't hear anything. Stayed up quite late as well because it went flat calm last night, but didn't hear or see anything. So, yeah, let's hope that they um, get back on the feet today. That'd be bloody mega. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, no more bites, but oh man, am I over the moon to actually have got a couple of bites, put it that way up. Well, 
if you got this far in a diary you'd have seen all the bloody dramas that i've had it's been non-stop so yeah to get a couple of bites buzzing with that absolutely buzzing quite looking forward to getting back down here so i should be able to squeeze in one more session before the ticket ends. right well i've already done this once because my gopro battery died pain in the ass but we're back at a boat launch didn't have any more even after casting to that shower uh, the guy that moved into all disease just pulled up now as well and uh he didn't have anything he was here since sunday as well said there was a lot of fish down there but i think they're getting you know on the zigs now definitely as a proper fly hatch on today and that's probably why i didn't get any more bites but you know is what it is still manage a couple buzzing so till next time we will see you on the next diary piece whether it be here whether it be somewhere else who knows and who knows how many more bloody dramas i'm going to have until then see you next time